Hi everyone, it's Vicky Kello, your independent stamping up demonstrator. What's happened? I'm trying to find Facebook again. What has my Facebook? Happy Monday, everybody. I think I'm on. I can see me. Hopefully everyone else can see me now too. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I was reviewing some um, um, documentation my sister was writing that requires somebody to review. So now I'm trying to uh, make sure I've got some room here. Okay, happy Monday. Tonight, I am going to be using this awesome Layers of Beauty set because I haven't made anything with it yet. I have my catalog launch in-person event on Saturday and I need some more samples and so tonight we're gonna have a play. Let's see what happens. This is a three-piece bundle and I can't show you the catalog um, but it is on page 57 of the new catalog and the whole bundle is $99.75 in Australia. So it comes with stamps, dies, and these are the dies. Stamps, dies, and the masks. So I think this is the third, um, no, this is a second set like this where there's stamps and dies, but Stamping Up have done layering masks before with the sunflowers, but there was no stamps with that. So I'm gonna have a bit of on. I'm going to make, I've organised to make three cards. We'll see how far we get with that. So with our stamps, when they're photopolymer like this, you need to make sure that you have a pierce mat so that you get the cushioning when you stamp on them because there's no cushioning in the stamp. There's this layer here and you can peel off the stamps and put them on your case like this. So that they all line up, you know whether you're missing any stamps or not. And, but if you have, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, bless me. If you have dies and you keep your dies within the case, like I do, then you will want to... Now, when you're pulling this off, you don't want to rip completely, especially if it's a bit warm in Queensland, because um, these will tear. So you, they're stuck on quite well, but you need to have a little bit of... Oh, I thought I broke that then after saying have a little bit of force, but not too much but that was a separate stamp. <laughs> um, yeah, just ease it off, especially when it's the first time doing it. And especially with the bigger stamps. So that can then go on there. And if you store your uh, um, dies in here like I do, I usually store like that, but you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep this plastic here to cover that so that then when you store your dies here, they don't stick to your stamps or your stamps don't stick to your dies. So that's my little tip for today. And then you can keep that other piece if you want. I have so many of them that I don't keep them anymore. I used to. Not anymore. Okay. We're gonna use this big image. So I think we're gonna need this Big ass stamp. 
I don't even think I'm, that's going to fit it. I'll have to find my other stamp blocks. Where's Julie? I'm not seeing any comments. Why am I not seeing any comments? Come on. I can see me live and I can see my video. Why am I not seeing any comments? I can't see who's watching. Something's happened. Facebook. I'm not liking it. Uh, what's split screen do? Nope, I don't want that. <laughs> oh, I've got eight comments, but why can't I see any of them? Sorry, people. Why can't I see comments here? But then if I bring up comments, I can't see what I'm doing. So I have all the blocks. I just don't usually bring them out because I don't have all that much room on my desk. But this stamp set will require you to have the biggest block ever. Oh. And when they're in this case, I really can't see comments because that's not even coming up. When they're in this case, I do struggle to get them out. So if you're writing comments to me, I'm so sorry, but for some ungod known reason, something's happened with Facebook Live and I can't see. I need my IT support and he's in the gym. That's annoying, isn't it? So you will need this block. This is, this is F, the F block. I don't know that I've ever used this F block before, but you need it for this stamp. Otherwise nothing else fits on there. Second tip of the night. I'm full of information tonight, aren't I? Okay. So the first card we're gonna do, I'm gonna stamp here on, don't think we're going to need this tonight. It's not going to be helpful, is it? My famous D block won't do very much at all. So for those after I did have my, um, I've got my May class and I did close payment for that on Saturday, but I am placing the order on Wednesday because it is using new stuff. So if you are interested in doing my May class, which is on the 18th of May, um, I think I might even have to stand up to stamp this because it's so big. We can say whatever we want tonight. When I stand up, I can see comments, Lisa. Hi, Christina, Jean, Janice. Who else is on here? Kerry. Hi, Tammy Crawford. How are you? Now something's happened. It was lovely meeting you today too, Tammy. Oh, hi Sue. Okay, I'm trying to stamp this. And I'm standing up because I need enough pressure. And it's big. I didn't realize how big this stamp was. Okay, so we've stamped the first one. I've stamped that in basic grey. I didn't want black because I thought black would be a bit harsh. Now we are going to... Where did I put those masks? Colour. Ah, uh, you all know how much I do not enjoy colouring very much. We are going to need some scratch paper underneath here. So let's get... This scratch paper, and we get this mask and line it up, work out which way we're going. Oh, mm. I 
There we go, I had the mask the wrong way. So line it up. And let's, before we do that, a little trick, if we line this piece up, try not to draw on the card because this is actually a card bit. I'm not cutting this one out. It does have dies to cut out. Then when you line this up, have that straight. I'm making this look a lot more difficult than it is, but it's because I didn't practice. I was too busy talking to Tammy this afternoon and then my sister. I've been have a chat. Have a chat. Okay, line that up. And then the idea would be <laughs> that see this little notch in the paper over here? you would mark the notch on the paper. But because I'm trying to be tight and use this small ass piece of paper here, I'm just going to mark the mask like that because the little notchy thing won't fit on the, the piece of paper that I'm trying to use. So we are going to, I'm gonna do yellow roses. I think these are roses. Are these roses? I'm not very good with flowers. Um, so this is, le uh, what is it? Lemon lily? Lily lemon? Lemon lily. And you get your blending brush and your colour. You want to have a little bit off on the paper first because you don't want it to be too harsh. And then lightly, now try not to move the mask. And we need these bits over here. So this is layer one. And then we'll pop that over. Layer two. So these all have numbers on them then too with the notch. I don't know whether you can see the numbers. And because I'm sitting down again, ladies, I cannot see what you're writing because Facebook's being painful. But we line up this. And then this time we go in with a suit because this is a little bit detail on the rose. So we go in same color, but just a little bit heavier handed this time. Now, if you want, you could do different colors, but you don't have to. All right, so that's the second layer. And you can see a bit of definition there. And then the third layer, try not to move this. In there. You go again and then just a little bit harder again. And because we're doing color on color on color, you will see a difference. You'll see more of a difference if you're using different colors. So if you want like a yellow and an orange type thing, I want to show you color on color on color. That's pretty. Now we're going to do the leaves. Get them the right way. So I have a different blending brush for the different colors to not cross contaminate. I really don't know why I can't see comments. It's so frustrating. Hopefully some of you ladies will be able to answer any questions if other people have questions. If not, I will go back and have a look tonight. I don't want that one, I want the green one. So I don't have a different brush for every color. I have a different brush for color families as such. So green on green type thing. Having a different brush for each family, for each color, like there's 58 colors. That's a lot of brushes. How 
How was your trip, Christina? When did you get back? All right, so that's the first layer of the leaves done. The leaves, we are using soft sea foam. I have gone with the color palette of um, subtles tonight. Usually I go with brights, but I've gone with subtles just for something a bit different. Trying to line this up. There we go. So for those of you local, I do have my catalog launch event on Saturday. I'm co-hosting it with Janice. So it is at Regents Park. And it's $20 to attend or $10 if you're a team member. And we are doing two make and takes and you get to see the new catalogue. We're playing a few games, doing a few activities, and it is on Saturday. Um, that, how pretty is that? And I look like an amazing colour right now, which we all know that is not true. But how good does that look? For very little effort, it took longer to line up the masks than anything. And now we are going to stamp, and I think I'm gonna stamp again in basic gray. And I'm gonna stamp happy anniversary because I never find cards that say happy anniversary on it. Now we need this little stamp. Um, yeah, I, I think it's 10 o'clock. Janice might be able to confirm that it's 10 o'clock. I should have checked that before coming on live. So that, stamp that, and we're popping this on um, this card. So we're just layering this on Lemon Lolly. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, but this yellow is my most favourite. So I've already gone through a pack of this cardstock. And pop that. I can't see that. I know now that I'm over 40, I'm really struggling. I know what my husband, like I've always had issues with my eyesight and wear glasses, but it's just getting worse now that I'm over 40. I've been paying Adrian out for the last couple of years because he, um, he never needed glasses until a couple of years ago. But the last couple of days, trying to line things up and also um, reading the writing on lip sense things that are in my bag at the moment. Whether it's gloss or color on some of them, oh, so difficult. How pretty is that card? And it took me, we did stuff around, but less than 20 minutes and I've made a fabulous card. But we're gonna make some more. So this one, cause I need more samples for Saturday. This one's gonna be a bit different. Now, on this piece, we need... I'm feeling a bit lost without being able to, like, talk to you guys through the comments. It's driving me batty. Now, does everyone on the video like the glass mat? I had a couple of people comment on my YouTube channel the other day that they didn't like the coloured mat underneath. It was pretty, but it was too distracting. So I've gone back to the glass mat. But I don't know. What are these? Flowers, leaves. Let's do all of these little ones. I'm definitely going to have to go back and read the comments. Where's my other block? So I'm just pushing, putting these four little stamps bit of randomness 
between them because I'm just gonna stamp randomly on the background here. And we're gonna do tone on tone. Now, if you don't have bubble bath ink pad, you need it, but if you don't, you can use this with Versamark and I will show you on some scrap and I'll do Versamark first. Versamark was my first ever ink pad that I ever, ever, ever bought when I first started. And Versamark will let you do tone on tone. And it's a clear sticky ink pad. And you can see that. Now it's gonna be a bit different because we're using Petunia Pop against Bubble Bath. But see how you can see that? If I actually use Petunia Pop on there, Instead, it will get be like darker on there. So I'm going to use bubble bath on here. But if you don't, you could use Versamark, but it'll be a lighter color, like a lighter shade. Did I stamp that color? Just got to clean that petunia pop off because we're not going to stain my bubble bath and we're just kind of stamping randomly and if I get that piece of paper back we can stamp off the side as well to kind of make it look a bit like pattern paper and you just kind of keep twisting the stamp so it's different images Ta -da. We're covering the middle, so you don't need to do the middle. There. And clean these inks. And then we're going to leave that. Now, these two pieces. So I've cut these two pieces here at two by two. I only work in inches for crafting. Um... And sh 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 I am going, where's that big stamp? I'm going to color this again in the basic gray. And I'm just gonna randomly place that so that I stamp it across the two images. Mm. You could do one at a time so you can make sure what you're getting. There. When it's a big stamp, I like to get the ink pad to the stamp rather than do it this way because you can kind of see whether you get enough ink on there or not. Stamp that. Now I'm going to leave these grey. I'm not going to colour them in. We close this. Up. Oh, we need that grey for the sentiment. Now we've got, put them to the side. Got this piece here. Now I'm going to use this sentiment in here. You make my heart smile because when I do classes, I do try and use every stamp set or every bit of paper, depending on what type of class I'm doing. That's not going to fit on there. So you can see how versatile the um, stamp set or paper is. You make my heart smile. Isn't that lovely? Clean that off. Did I clean these ones? And I think I need to clean that too. Uh, I haven't cleaned the big one, but I need two hands to clean the big one. 
pop this over. I'm making such a mess tonight. We're going to trim this down. Glenda, if your puppy's watching, he's going to run away. I've still not WD-40 this. Okay, so we're going to pop this together. I have got my normal card base here. Score with my bone folder. And then we're going to layer the piece here, which is... Um, Four inches by five and five eighths, I think. Five and five eighths. It's an eighth of an inch shorter than this. Oh, that's four inches by five and three quarters. And then we've got this piece here so this white piece is five by three and a half I'm going to lay out this piece of the bubble bath which is a eighth of an inch shorter so it's four and seven eighths by three and three eighths and that's going to go on there and that's why we only needed to stand the background and then that can go there. This, because I didn't stamp right up the top there, can go there. And I found some twine that was just laying around on my desk. So we're gonna do a bow with this. Fold With twine, I fold it in half and then do a bow because make it a bit thicker because twine is so little. Or thin. I don't want it to get lost. I don't need take my pick tool to bring those bits in. Come on. That was a lot harder than it should have been. And then I've got my snips. So cut that. So now we have two loose ends and then trim that there. Now I'm deciding whether I want this popped up or these popped up. I would ask you ladies, and if I've got any gentlemen, but I can't read the comments, so I'm going to have to make a decision all on my own tonight. I'm not very good at that, being a liberal. But, anyways, we will make two. Pop that down and then we get some dimensionals. And put four each on the squares. I don't know whether I mentioned they're two inches by two inches or not. And that um, pink bit for the sentiment was just scrap, so I just made sure it was long enough for my long sentiment. Now, what are we doing here? This one. In there. So yeah, if anyone still wants my May class, I um, did close it off for Sunday, but I can't place the order until Monday when the new catalog goes live because we're using brand new product. So um, you can still order it if you want to. Don't think you've missed out. Oops.
the class is $30. It's online for the 18th of May via Zoom at 10 a.m. But if you can't make the class, the live version, it is recorded and you can complete it at a later date. I'm going to get a glue dot, stick this down. And we're going to try and cover that bit there because I don't like it. There's no mistakes in craft. There's just room for embellishment. Mm. No, that can go under. There we go. How pretty is that? I'm pretty impressed with that. I need some bling on it, but we'll do bling in a minute because we still have one more card to make. How are we going for time? Ugh, you ladies can't talk to me. What is going on? Eight, thirty, half an hour. We got plenty of time. Might even get a fourth card done. I haven't prepped a fourth card, so that'd truly be winging it because the only thought we'd get three done. So this one, we're going to stamp this big picture. That really is hurting my arm to lift that. It's so heavy. Um, with my tennis elbow. I need two hands to do this block. I'm gonna have to stand up again. Do, do, do. Okay, and this time, let's see whether we can line this up again properly. I'm gonna have to clean these masks. Ooh. Bear with me because I wanna use a different color. So to clean these masks, you just need I'm trying to get baby wipes, but they're all fine. Let me add some water to a baby wipe. Because I've left the container open. But you just get a baby wipe because they're all water-based inks. The green I probably didn't need to clean because I'll be using the same green, but you know. We'll just do all the same. There is a tiny little bit there with this detail that you need to be careful of, not be too rough. Otherwise you might bend those bits. But that's how easy they are to clean. But if you're making multiple cards with this and you're using the same colors, then no need to clean it between because you're just gonna dirty the same thing, same color. Again, but I'm not using the same colors. I'm gonna be a bit special and try and use pink. So let's line up, get these numbers right. One. Nope, I've got this around the wrong way. Okay, where's my pink brush? Oh. Is everyone excited? We can all order from the catalog on Wednesday. I'm even excited because as a demo, yes, I've been able to order some things early, but I haven't been able to order everything from the catalog, only certain products. And I've got a whopping great big wish list. But I have 12 months to get it, so I don't have to get it all at once. Even though I'd like it all at once. 
my budget won't allow for that. Uh, what is number two? Two. Two is the one with the dodgy things like the really fine bits that you don't want to be too. Too rough with. What is happening here? I've done something wrong. That is not lining up there, is it? Oh, because it's not the same bottom. This size piece of paper is not the same as my last size and I haven't stamped in the right position. So my lines aren't gonna work. So we're just gonna twist it until we work out where it's gonna go. There we go. Didn't take too long. Maybe maybe I might get a darker pink to show the, the final bit of detail, just to show you the difference a different colour will make. So we clean that off. Darker pink. Maybe this moody mauve. I do like me some moody mauve. Um, number three must be this one. Number three is quite easy to line up because it's the centers of the little flowers. Look at that. I'm impressed. Uh, that left a lot of ink on that ink pad though. Now we just need the leaves, which we'll do the soft sea foam again. And five, I think we need four first. Four. Once you've done a couple of these, you kind of know where to line them up. So for those just joining, because we've had a few more people join, I am using layer, Layers of Beauty on page 57 of the catalog. It is a stamp, die and um, mask set and it is 90 $7, I think I checked on 92.75 90 something I checked but that was like 50 minutes ago so that's annoying that I can't remember And then this is the last layer. So I've used the same color. You could use a different color green and you'd get a different result as well, like a stronger green for the detail and you get a more defined result. This is a nice subtle result. And then we're gonna pop them away this away now we get the dies out and the dies let you cut out this big picture 
Now you want to be careful when you're taking these off as well because they could break if you have a bit too much force. Once I've used these dies, then I will replace this piece with a magnetic sheet so that I don't have the issue with the um, sticky tape that's on there. And then the smaller, you can cut out the bigger rose image so that you could pop it up and do like a 3D image. Um, and then some leaves. So that's gonna have to be this one, I think. So, gonna bring in our die cutting machine and line up the die. And run that through. And then take that off. And da -da! how pretty is that? So we'll pop that die over there, rubbish. That then goes on here. And the sentiment tag on here looks like it's only going to fit God bless. I don't know that I want that as a stamp, as a sentiment on here. So I think we're going to go with happy anniversary again. Or should I just go get a birthday stamp? No, we're going to continue using this stamp. So oh, I could do grateful for you. We haven't done that. Grateful for you. Can you all hear Buddy snoring? Lion next to me snoring. He was super excited to see Tammy this afternoon. Grateful for you. I'm gonna stamp this just directly onto the soft sea foam background. I didn't have my pierce mat underneath me, but I still got a good image. So that was a bit of potluck there. Alright, so we want to try and cover up some of those goobers there. So we'll just twist that so it's covering up that um, thing. And I think I'm going to pop this up. So we have mini dimensionals and normal dimensionals. Mini dimensionals are what you need for like the skinnier bits here because they're tiny on the edge so that they still pop up but you don't see them too much. If you don't have mini ones, you can just um, cut the big ones in half but then you've got to clean your scissors because you end up with adhesive on your scissors and you're just better off buying small ones. I had a few, um, when the little ones came out, I seem to add little ones to my order because I do usually one or two orders a month. Um, and I just usually add like a seal and dimensionals just to have a bit of a stockpile. And for a while there, I was adding the <laughs> mini dimensionals, but you don't use them as much and I ended up with an awful stockpile of mini dimensionals. Um, so I haven't bought any in a very long time. Now I think Megan would be very impressed with the amount of dimensionals that I've used here. 
We don't want any saggy flowers. Oh, come on. I always struggle to get the um, backings off the little ones though. They just seem to stick more than the bigger ones. Alright, now then we'll need to find some bling to finish off these three cards because they can't be naked and bling just finishes off every card. Now I did, I've sent out my catalogues to all the ladies that were on my list to send catalogues to. If you do not have a current demonstrator and haven't got a catalogue, I'm happy to post you one. Just let me know. Um, and I've had a few um, online orders recently, which has been very exciting. So thank you to everyone placing online orders. Right, bling, bling, bling. Let's move this mess over. I think this one's my favorite. Pink and gray, I just think is so classic. Although this yellow is quite good too. What's some bling we can use? I might put these ones. These are the new basic, <coughs> excuse me, basic green smoky slate on those ones. We could use them on all of them actually. Let's do that. These are brand new in the new catalog. I love them. They are basic gray and smoky slate. I do love a gray. And I've stamped in gray. Wasn't that a bit clever? One, they're big ones though. Let's do some little ones. Cover up that little smudgy bit there. Oh, I like that. I think these ones, this will look great on here. We always do things in threes or we do things in odd numbers because it's more visually pleasing. Now, there is a goober that we need to cover up. Oh, there's a dimensional backing. Get that off there. How nice is that? I think I want some twine on that. Do you think we need twine on all those? What good is it asking? I can't see the bloody comments. I'm making a right roll mess. I've got some twine here left. We'll add a bit of twine to all of them. This will be my second roll of twine I've finished in like 10 years. I put on Facebook the other day or Instagram when I finished the last roll. That was only because I was doing my class prep for, I think it was the May, cl the May <laughs> class. We're using some twine. I don't use it very much. And look, I'm putting it on all three of these cards. Oh, I like that. There, finish this off. Oh, oh I'm only gonna get one, one single bow out of that. Won't be able to double that one over. My fingers are too fat. Oh, look at that. That was close of losing that tail. That was very close. Let 
Okay. And we can pop that in there. So that is our three cards tonight, ladies. And look, nine minutes to spare. I'm not going to get another card in. But that is using the Layers of Beauty bundle, which is a three-part bundle in the new catalogue on page 57. I can't show you inside the catalogue yet until next week. 99.75. I knew it was 90-something. I'm sure Megan corrected me. But thank you everyone for joining and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.